intercept B and Z intercept C is this. So it says, so if you have these three intercepts of A0, 0, 0, 0 B0, zero, and 0, 0, C, those are the intercepts. You're trying to show that the equation of that plane is x over A plus y over B plus Z over equals, zero, uh, equals 1. Sorry. So here's the thing. What do you need to write the equation of a plane? How many things do you need? How many things? No. You need two things. What are those two things? It would be great if you had a. It'd be great if you had a normal, and a. What's the other thing you need? Any point you want. Exactly. Normal and a point. Normal and a point. So graphically, what are they telling you? That you have three. You have three intercepts here, here, and here. You have a, b, and c. <coughs> okay. So do we have a point? In fact, how many points do we have? How many points do we have? We have three points. So what point do you want to use? Just pick one of them. A. Sure, the first one. So our point is going to be a, 0, 0. We need to get a normal vector. How can we construct a normal vector to this plane? Cross, cross product of any two vectors that are on the plane, right? Do we have a vector that's on the plane? Yes. Yeah, how about we, we have one vector, a, b, and, and we have vector a, c, right? What is vector a? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Can you move it down yeah. if it hasn't synced yet? <laughs> there it is. Um, so what's the vector from A to B going to be? What is that vector? If you go from, if you go, here's A. Well, I'll erase it. You want me to just erase it? A to B. A to B. Be very careful. Negative A, comma what? B, comma, zero. And what's A to C going to be? Negative A, zero. C, exactly. So what do you do with those two vectors? You cross them. You do this, uh, negative A, B, 0, cross negative A, 0, C. And do you remember how you cross? What do you have to do? You do I, J, and K, and then negative. Does it matter which order I put them in? Does it? Does it? Well, it does matter. It gives us a different answer, but how many... Uh, there's actually two normal <coughs> vectors that are fine, right? There's the normal vector coming off of it, and then there's also the normal vector going out backwards. They're both going the same direction. So we're currently looking for one of these. Depending on which one we take, it's either going to go forward or backwards. Does it matter which one we use? What's the relationship between vectors that go opposite directions? Negative. They're just negative one another, exactly. It doesn't matter. So we do this, so then it's going to be equal to what? I times BC minus 0 minus j times what? Negative ac minus 0 plus k times 0 <coughs> minus negative ab, right? You have to be real super careful with this. So what do you end up with? bci, bci uh, plus what? acj plus abk. So, that is, so what is your normal vector going to be there for? Our normal is going to be BC comma AC comma AB. Exactly. So what do we do with that? We plug it into our form, our equation, which is so it's going to be BC times X minus A plus what? AC times Y minus zero plus AB times Z minus zero equals what? Zero. So what do we have to do to this equation now? We're trying to make it fit into this equation up where? Where is x over a plus y over, x over a plus y over b plus z over c, so right? We expand it. So we expand it. So we end up with b c x minus a b c plus a c y plus a b what mm -hmm. equals zero. So what do you end up with? b c x plus a c y plus a b z <coughs> is equal to a b c. What do you divide both sides by? ABC. If you divide by a b c, you end up with x over a. a plus y <coughs> over b plus z over c is equal to what? 1. one. There it is. Sine of what? 20 degrees. <coughs> so what do you know? What are the two, two equations we could set up here? We know that magnitude of b cosine 30 has to equal what? Two. Come on. What did we say about the, the, oh, sorry, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I, I copied the wrong one. That was my mistake. Magnitude of B 
sine 30, what does that have to equal? No. These are both positive right now. So it's just going to be magnitude of A, what? Sine 20. That's our first equation. What's the second equation we need? Magnitude of B. Cosine, yep, sorry. Cosine 30 degrees plus what? Cosine 20 degrees has to equal? 255, exactly. There you go. So how many equations do you have right there? Two. Two. How many variables? Two. You'll need your calculator to do this. It will, I, you should, yeah. That's how you do it. Does that make sense? Yes. Um, I, I have never designed one of these, but every time I see one of these questions, I'm always tempted to say like, here's the path of the boat. Me. Like at an angle. Um, but I have yet to design a question like that because I'm nice. This. What's this in three space? It tells you in the question, it's a plane. So it says, sketch the cross section. So the surface is cut. So you're, you're taking two things and it's being cut by this plane. You're supposed to sketch what the cross section looks like. So let's sketch what this plane looks like right here. In x, y, z space, in three space, just on the, so that's x, uh, not y, sorry, z and y. Here, which, what plane is this? What plane is that called that I just? XY. That's the xy plane. So where does y equal x on that plane? The mm -mm. There's, like one. There's a what? Like There's a diagonal, exactly. So this right here, let's label that as y equals what? So that's y equals x. So if that's y equals x, just that's just one line in three space right there. What does that plane look like? <coughs> So do you see that plane right there that cuts it at a diagonal? So it hits it right there. I'll do it in a red. So it's right here. There, 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 da, da, da. And it's right there. So what does the surface z equal x, y look like? Well, you don't actually need to know because you're looking where two things intersect. So what do you do with this right here if you're looking for where this intersects the other one? What do you do? You plug it in right there. So what do you get? Z equals? z equals x squared or z equals, which doesn't matter because on that plane that's in red, x is always equal to what? y. So what does z equal x squared look like? Well, when x equals 0, what's z? 0. So it's right here. And then what shape does this make? What shape is this? It's a parabola. It's a parabola that's on that plane. So do you see that parabola I'm drawing right there? Do you see that parabola? There it is. That's the parabola. That is the cross section right there. So it's just a parabola. It's just a parabola on that plane. Okay. Okay. So if you drew a parabola at an angle like that, you would be correct.